Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is ExpressJS full tutorial playlist. Today we will focus on learning about wildcard routes. What are wildcard routes? Why are they important when designing your application? This is a part 11 of the ExpressJS full tutorial playlist. If you haven't checked out the previous parts, I request you to check out so that you have continuity in your learning. Alright, so last two episodes we focused on implementing dynamic routes which is we were passing parameters and values to the routes and we were able to capture them. We also learned how to pass pattern matching right using regular expression. So that is yet another cool thing that we can pass um, regular expression to kind of match our routes. But there are cases where our routes will not match right where the user will enter routes which doesn't suit or or satisfy the criteria defined in our routes. So in those cases we need to handle the wildcard routes right. Let me first show you the problem and then we'll talk about the solution. So let me open up here. So <coughs> so this is the routes we created last episode where we had the search which takes numeric numbers and it take accepts four digits. Similarly we created an endpoint search username which will take a to z characters and will take five characters right now let's try and break the system so if you see here i'm entering more than four digits but the route says it is expecting four right so if you try sending this request it will give you error because it doesn't match same way if you try and using username and pass character and numeric it will give you error. <coughs> so what we need to do is handle these routes right. So for them what we have to define is a wildcard. So we'll say dot route dot get that wherever it doesn't match that is star then you perform this operation right. So handle it elegantly like this and say or maybe you can do a 404 right so you can see url not found <coughs> so it started now go here and search it it will say url not found because this is not satisfying the criteria but if you send correct one it will send you data captured if you send wrong it will give you url not found right same way with search now if you send correct data which is up to four digits it will show correct data if you send more than four it will say url not found <coughs> so there are multiple ways of handling uh, error handling but this is one of it where you can configure a wildcard route right we'll see other things as we progress along in the tutorial i will show you and share with you some best practices how you should send ideally you should send an object right so how do you do that? <coughs> so, so you can say status code. <coughs> you'll say 404 and then you'll say status message and you'll say URL not found. And then you will send this object right so see this is how ideally you should send so that your ui always knows that it has to pick up status code and display this message right so this is one of the best practices that you can incorporate to handle the errors that you see in terms of handling routes in the next episode we'll start talking about middleware functionality of expressjs why it's extremely important how you can utilize it to make your applications extremely powerful, stable and and mo moreover elegant. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you are enjoying this series. If you are, give a thumbs up to the video. Do like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.